Welcome to Discover Daily by Perplexity, an AI-generated show on tech, science, and culture. I'm Alex. Today, we're exploring a mysterious radioactive anomaly found deep beneath the Pacific Ocean. But first, let's look at what else is happening. Elon Musk's XAI launched Grok 3 on Monday. Musk claims the release surpasses all existing models in reasoning capabilities, leveraging XAI's Colossus supercomputer infrastructure and housing 100,000 NVIDIA GPUs, Musk maintains Grog 3 has, quote, 10 times more compute than its predecessor. Just days ago at the World Government Summit in Dubai, Musk described the chatbot as scary smart and doubled down on claims of its superior performance. The development team has reportedly focused heavily on synthetic data training, aiming to create more nuanced and contextually aware responses. This launch comes at a crucial moment in the AI race, as competition intensifies between major players. Grok3 will be going head-to-head -head with established platforms like OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, Anthropic's Claude, and the recently emerged DeepSeek R1. Moving on to our second segment, Microsoft and Carnegie Mellon University have released new research about how generative AI is reshaping critical thinking in the workplace. In the study, researchers surveyed over 300 knowledge workers and analyzed over 900 real-world examples of AI use. The findings reveal intriguing patterns in how professionals interact with AI tools, specifically among those using generative AI at least weekly. The research uncovered a nuanced relationship between confidence levels and critical thinking. Higher trust in AI is associated with reduced critical thinking effort, while greater self-confidence leads to enhanced critical thinking and more thorough evaluation of AI outputs. This suggests that our relationship with AI tools isn't just about technology, it's deeply connected to our self-perception and professional confidence. The integration of AI tools has fundamentally transformed how knowledge workers approach tasks. Focus has moved from information gathering to information verification, while problem solving has evolved into AI response integration. Task execution has transitioned to task stewardship, with workers overseeing AI-generated outputs rather than producing them entirely independently. The study highlights a crucial irony in AI adoption. By automating routine tasks, AI inadvertently deprives users of opportunities to practice judgment and strengthen their cognitive musculature, leaving them unprepared for unexpected situations. This isn't just theoretical concern, it's a practical challenge that organizations are already grappling with as AI becomes more integrated into daily work processes. Researchers and developers are exploring ways to design AI systems that actively promote and enhance cognitive skills. One approach involves creating AI tools that prompt users to engage in reflective thinking and question AI-generated outputs. Another promising avenue is the development of AI assistants that act as cognitive scaffolds, guiding users through complex problem-solving processes rather than simply providing answers. Now, let's dive into our main story of the day a fascinating radioactive anomaly discovered deep beneath the Pacific Ocean. Recent studies published in Nature Communications reveal how researchers have identified an unexpected accumulation of beryllium-10, a rare radioactive isotope, in seafloor samples dating back to the late Miocene epoch approximately 10 million years ago. The anomaly, discovered in ferromanganese crusts from the central and northern Pacific, revealed nearly double the expected concentration of beryllium-10 isotopes. This increase occurred between 9 and 12 million years ago, presenting scientists with an intriguing geological puzzle. 
The consistency of the anomaly across multiple samples and chemical preparations ruled out contamination, confirming its authenticity. What makes this discovery particularly fascinating is beryllium 10's 1.4 million year half-life, which makes it a valuable tool for dating events beyond the 50,000 year limit of radiocarbon dating. Scientists have proposed two main theories to explain this mysterious phenomenon. The first is an oceanic theory, suggesting that a significant reorganization of ocean currents near Antarctica occurred 10 to 12 million years ago, potentially causing an uneven distribution of beryllium-10 and its concentration in the Pacific Ocean. The second is an astrophysical theory, proposing that the anomaly might have resulted from cosmic events, such as a nearby supernova increasing cosmic radiation intensity or Earth's passage through a dense interstellar cloud, which could have weakened the heliosphere's protection. If the anomaly is found to be global in nature, it would lend support to the astrophysical hypothesis, while a regional limitation would favor the oceanic current theory. The discovery of the beryllium-10 anomaly represents a potential breakthrough in geological dating methods, addressing the long-standing challenge of establishing universal temporal markers for multi-million year periods. Scientists worldwide are currently analyzing additional samples to map the anomaly's global extent and origin, which could revolutionize our understanding of Earth's geological timeline. If confirmed as a global phenomenon, this oceanic time marker would not only enhance our ability to synchronize different geological records, but also provide crucial insights into Earth's past environmental conditions and long-term processes. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe on your favorite platform. For more info on anything we covered today, check out the links in our episode description. And don't forget you can now access Perplexity's AI-powered knowledge base on the go with the mobile app, available for both Android and iOS. There's also the Perplexity desktop app for Mac OS. In other perplexity news, the company just launched Deep Research, a powerful new feature that digs deep into hundreds of sources to create thorough research reports. The tool, which is free to try and unlimited for pro users, can tackle complex research questions in just minutes. Early tests show it's remarkably accurate, making it a promising tool for anyone needing in-depth research assistance. We'll be back with more stories that matter. Until then, stay curious.